What is up, guys? This is Theo here. Uh, about 10.33 p.m. right now, and I'm going to do a video for you guys on how to understand the data structure, the stack, um, in JavaScript. So the stack is a very common data structure, basically like an array, um, but it has a few methods that are native to it. And um, the idea of a stack is like, a stack of plates so a stack is first in last out so the first plate you put on a stack is going to be the last one to take it you take out when you uh, put away the plates um, say you know you're taking them out from the dishwasher and you stack them up then you put them away so the first one you put down will be the last one you shelf so let's begin we have our JS bin open and we're going to create function called stack and all this is going to do it's going to have two properties um, this dot length equals zero and uh, we're going to have um, this dot data store which will be our stack it's going to be initialized to an empty array um, so those are our two properties and now Let's create some methods. So the methods um, that are native to a stack that I'm familiar with are contains, which is just gonna uh, go through the current stack and let us know if we have a certain uh, element or plate. So this is gonna just be a simple function, which is gonna take um, a, uh, I guess an index or a, value and we're going to loop through dot um, let's see I guess we can do for each as a function item and and then we're just going to return if the item is equal to the value so this is just going to return a boolean And then we have a few more. We have this dot add, which will add onto our um, add onto our stack. It's going to take in a value. And this dot data store dot push value. And then we're just going to increase our length by one. And then we have. Um, then we have um, this dot is empty is a, func is a function and basically this is just going to return um, this dot data store this, this dot data this dot length is equal to zero it's going to be another boolean and finally we have this dot remove going to be a function which takes in a value um, and then we're going to loop through again we're going to do we're going to say if this dot length and this dot length greater than one why not we'll just do we'll just assume they have a they have some plates on the stack Course. And then we will say if um, this dot if um, file or this if this dot data store if this dot data store dot i is equal to the value, then this dot data store dot i dot splice one will be the value. So that's that. So let's try it out guys. Let's try actually getting our stack. I'm gonna create a new stack for stack one equals to new stack. And now if we do console.blog stack one dot is empty 
true, right? Because our length is now zero. Boom, this is gonna be true. So now if we um, stack one dot add two is undefined. Let's step one. So now if we log this actually down here, false, right? So now we actually have it. Um, if we log our stack one dot data store, we should see it just has two. Let's try a few more of our methods just to see if they work. Stack one dot add two dot add two. Let's try and remove it. There, dot splice is not a function. Boom. This dot data store dot splice. This dot data score is two dot remove dot splice one. So let's see this dot or I know we'll just delete it. Delete this dot data store dot. So now it is undefined in our stack and. Our last one will be, we will just check. I know it deletes not the best because it leaves a, sort of a hole in the array, but um, we'll try one more. Let's just do, um, so stack, also dot log stack one dot add five, right? That's what we got. And uh, stack one dot contains five. Undefined. Let me see why that is. Make sure oh, this is a return column. Let's get rid of that one. Stack one dot function item stack one dot add each contains five dots. Let's see. Stack one stack one dot data. This dot data store dot contains one to two is the value. Let's try to make sure. So it contains five. True. But if we go back and we try and put six undefined, else true false. So it's false. So there you guys have it. Those are some basic methods. Um, wanted to show you guys with the stack data structure. I wouldn't say you use it a lot, but it's nice to know how it works and how to implement it in JavaScript. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give me some feedback. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.